All right, so today we're gonna go over the custom gauges in Ada 64. Now this is part two. In part one, we covered the basic navigation of the Ada 64 program and basic sensor panel setup. So go watch that if you need a refresher. This is gonna be strictly on gauges. Now, when you select a gauge, it's underneath an item type. Now, ADEM64 has four stock gauges with three different sizes. The PNG files and their size from large, medium to small. Large being 120 by 120 pixels, medium being 90 by 90 pixels, and small is 50 by 50 pixels. Each gauge is made out of 16 individual states ranging from 0 to 15. 0 generally being nothing, 15 being the max. Now, when creating your gauge, you can use several different programs as long as they can export to .png files, you should be fine. But I use Photoshop. You can also use GIMP or any other free creation software that exists. But this is a tutorial on uploading the gauges and not specifically designing them, but I will go over how I design mine. The first step is you need to decide what type of gauge you're gonna have. You can have a linear gauge that shows bars, kind of like your cell phone reception. You can do a radio gauge, which is typical in like tachometers that you'll find in your car. Or you can do something completely off the wall and do an asymmetric gauge. Now I chose to use the NZXT cam software as my template because I think it's a clean layout. It gives me a lot of information that I need and the basic information that I'm looking for. I don't need everything that Ada64 has to offer, but things like temperature, clock speeds, and uh, utilization, these are the basic things that I'm looking for with monitoring my hardware while I'm using my computer without opening up too many extra programs. So that's the template that I choose and that's the general background that you see when I'm editing my different positions for gauges and other information. The first thing you need to divide your gauge into 16 different layers, meaning when your gauge is at the zero state, it needs to show a different image than when it's at the one state or two state all the way up to 15. Now, once you divide that gauge into your 16 different layers, you need to name the layers from 0 to 15. Just for organization purposes, it makes the next step a lot easier. Once you've divided that image into 16 different layers, you're going to individually export each one of them as a .png. Make sure when you're exporting that the document size is the exact size of the gauge that you're using. It's not a requirement, but it does make placing your gauge inside of your stat monitor a lot easier. You'll see I resized them to my gauge size, which was 142 by 142. And that created a better experience when it's time to actually upload to Ada 64. To navigate, you go to item type, select gauge, go down to type and select custom. And this is where the naming comes in handy because you're going to upload each layer state to the corresponding slot. And once you have that, congratulations. Just configure the gauge and position it as necessary and enjoy. Here's a quick time lapse of how I made my stat monitor from start to finish.
this was a pretty quick tutorial. Uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything with Ada 64 as far as using it and creating custom stat monitors. If you want more information or need further clarity, just leave a comment. And if you want to see more, just let me know. If there's anything else that you want to see, what are the possibilities of this program, we'll see if we can make some more videos out of it because this is definitely fun for me. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.